Hello everyone, so in this video we will be doing object detection in PyTorch using the faster RCNN algorithm. So first we will import the basic libraries. So we will say import torch, import torch vision and then we are going to say from torch vision import transforms as capital T. After that, what we are going to do is we are going to implement or we are going to import from PIL import image for reading the image. Then we are going to say import CV2. And finally, we also need the Google patch. So we will say google.colab.patches import CV2 underscore imshow. And then we will hit shift and enter. Okay. The next thing that we need is the model. So we will say model is equals to torch vision dot models dot detection dot faster rcnn underscore resnet 50 underscore fpn and then in in here I'm going to say pre trained pre trained equal to true. So we are going to use a pre-trained model. So obviously we will be only doing an inference that we, that is we will be taking an image and then we will be uh, passing it through the model and trying to get the predictions. Okay, so I'll hit shift and enter. Okay, so the error is basically due to model and our models. It has to be models and then we'll hit shift and enter and yes, you can see. So it has it is downloading the weights and it has downloaded the weights over here. And now what we are going to do is we are going to say model.eval. The reason as I explained earlier, we are just going to do inference, which means that we are not going to do any fine tuning. So this is the model parameter. These are the model. This is the model architecture. We'll close this over here. And after that, now I need to get the image. So the link for the image is already in the description below. I'll just copy and paste it over here. It's in the description. You can go and see. So this is the image. Okay and uh, you can see over here you can see the image has been downloaded now what we are going to do we are going to read this image so let's say ig it's a variable we will say image dot open and then we are going to pass the path so here we will go and we will copy the path so this will open the image using the pil library okay now what we are going to do is we are going to say um transform so again, this is transform without the S and the package imported is transforms. Okay, so there is a difference. So we'll say transform equal to capital T dot two tensor. And what this will basically do is it will help us convert the image that we have got from PIL library to the tensor format, which will be given to the PyTorch model. So for that, I'm going to say image, which is another variable IMG transform and then pass in IG, which is the image that we have got in here. And then I'm going to hit shift and enter. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to pass it, pass this image to the model. But before that, I need to say which with torch dot no grad, which basically means that we will not be using the grad, uh, gradient function of PyTorch and gradients won't be calculated. So this is there. And then finally, we are going to say pred equal to model and with square brackets I'm gonna pass the IMG and I'm going to hit shift and enter so this is expected to give the predictions because in the model we have provided the image okay so it takes some time yes it has finished so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what pred has given us okay so I'll write pred and you can see there are a lot of values so if you scroll down you're going to see two things two things one is labels this is basically the number of uh, or rather the objects that have been detected and this is scores okay so you can see the confidence so for the first object it's almost 99.5 percent sure second object is 98.76 then third object is 0 0.9607 and the other things interesting thing is here that all these numbers are in descending order okay so the first object whatever is the 82nd object i'll show you i'll be giving you the labels in a second to see what actually is that so 82nd object has a probability of almost 99.48% or yeah 99.48% or rather almost 99.5% uh, the model is sure that the object 82 is there now what is object 82 I'll give you in a second 
then for object 79 over here it is 98.76 percent sure for object 52 it is 96.07 and so on and so forth okay so as you can see there's so many objects that have got 90 percent and above so i think the model is pretty sure and the top one that over here you can see these are actually the bounding boxes okay so you can see over here the first row has four elements okay so this is the first element oh sorry this is the first element this is the second element this is the third element and this is the fourth element so these are the x1 y1 x2 y2 as you can see in the image this one x1 and y1 this is the top left coordinate as you can see in the image right now and this one over here this these two this is x2 and y2 this is the bottom right coordinate which you can see in the image okay so for every bounding box there is a uh, uh, x1 x2 and y1 y2 or rather x1 y1 and x2 y2 so this will help us making the bounding box so what i'm going to do right now is you can see there are three of them if i'm going to show you i'm going to show you here i'm going to write type okay so if you see um give me a second yes so you can see the type of bread is list so if you see the length length it will come one so if have, if it has only one element then i'm going to say pred of zero okay so if you say pred of zero you can see there are those elements what uh, those outputs that we saw it's here now let's see what these elements are okay the types or the rather the type so i'm going to say type pred and you can see this is a you can see over here this is a dictionary okay so if this is a dictionary then we obviously are going to have the keys so if i write dot keys I am getting three keys. Obviously, we saw the bounding boxes, we saw the labels, and we saw the scores. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to say B boxes, comma labels, comma scores, and now we are going to separate this into different variables. Okay. So, for that, we are going to say pred of zero, and since it was a dictionary which has a label boxes, you can see is boxes. I'll copy it from here directly and then paste it over here. Okay. Then what I am going to do, I am going to copy this entire thing and then paste it twice and here instead of boxes we'll have labels labels and here, here instead of boxes we are going to have scores so whatever the scores that we had seen over there will now will be stored in scores label now uh, scores variable the labels here will be stored in the labels variable and so for the boxes then we are going to hit shift and enter and this has run okay so now what we are going to do is let's take a look back at scores okay so if you look at the scores what you are going to see is that there are certain scores which are in descending order which i have already explained but there are many many objects okay so i only want to see the top 5 so i don't want a lot so what i am going to do if i have a condition let's say that scores has to be greater than 0 0.9 then only this top 5 will be taken right only this top 5 will be taken if i say 0 0.8 then till here it will be taken because till here till this last one uh, the probability is greater than 80 percent so let's just keep it till 9 and the way to get how many uh, how many objects will be there well there will be five objects so to get it in form of a number i am going to say torch dot arg dot arg where and then pass this condition and if i hit shift enter you can see there are five numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 which means at position 0 at position 1 at position 2 at position 3 and at position 4 all these five positions the score was greater than 0 0.9 now if you get the shape of it you will actually get the number which should come 5 so you can see 5 now i'm going to save it as a num and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you the names so you don't have to worry it's already there in the uh, description you can directly go and copy so i'll copy from there and paste it over here so these are the name of all the classes that we will be using to get the labels okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the um, what to say your uh, loop and finally make the prediction and show you the image so i'm going to say igg which is a variable and i'm going to read the image in cv okay so now what i need to do is i need to copy the path i'll again go there and copy the path okay now how many objects we have to uh, display it is there in num in the value num if you remember num is 5 okay i can also print it over here num is 
num is 5 okay num is 5 as you can see num is 5 fine now coming back so I'm going to say for I in range of a num now for every uh, range what I'm every uh, number in I what I'm going to do if you remember from the boxes I'm going to write x1 y1 x2 y2 and for your reference I'm going to actually print the boxes over here so that you can see oh not boxes b boxes my bad so um, I'm going to write sorry I'm going to write b boxes okay so as you can see over here these are our bounding boxes and see there are four values in every row so x1 y1 x2 y2 and what i'm going to say i'm going to say b boxes i okay the other thing you can see here is this is in tensor format and i want to use it in numpy format because i'll not be able to print it uh, print it otherwise and the other thing is there as you can see this that this here is in decimals but coordinates you know has to be in integers so for doing that i'm going to write dot as type and then i'm going to write int okay so now what you're going to see is if i run this and let me just for a second print x1 y1 x2 y2 and then finally i'll break um, finally after that i'll just break in order to show you you can see 291 you can see over here 291 you can see 75 you can see 75 you can see 351 you can see 351 230 230 so it has gotten the integer parts of the first row and so the next time when i will be equal to one it will get the second row and so on and so forth okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say um, class name class name is equals to now what is class name basically this is going to get us the labels for example if you print the labels i'm going to print it for you so the thing is that see you can see 82 over here now the problem is how to know that which label it corresponds to it corresponds to the 82th level so the person is 1 bicycle is 2 you know car is 3 motorcycle is 4 and uh, counting that wherever it comes to 82 that is going to be our label okay so what i'm going to say i'm going to say coco coco names and since label is there so we are going to say labels dot numpy because it's also in tensor format as you can see over here and then i'm going to say i minus or i minus one why minus one outside because remember this is a list okay this coco names over here as you can see this is a list list is indexed not from one but from zero that's why we have to subtract minus one from here okay so with that we'll get the class name now what i need to do i need to print it so i will say igg I'll, I'll print the bounding box okay so first i'll print the bounding box i'll say cv2 dot rectangle and rectangle for that i have to give the image igg the top left coordinate if you know it was x1 comma y1 and the bottom right coordinate is x2 comma y2 then i have to give the color i'll be giving it green color so 0 2 55 and 0 and then finally i'll give the thickness as 1 lastly i also want to print the class names so again i'm going to use the cv2 dot put text function okay and for that i need to give the image then i need to give the class name i'm going to say class name only and then i need to give uh, the coordinate which i'm going to give it so where do we want we want it on top of the box so we need to take the top left coordinate which is x1 y1 but i want it at the top so i'm going to reduce 10 from the y1 i hope you are familiar with the coordinate system for images when it comes to opencv okay so after that i need to pass the font so i haven't mentioned the font here so i have to say font equal to cv2 dot um, cv2 dot font hershey hershey simplex i'm going to just simplex okay so this is our font now after that the, what we need is we need to give the um let's say the thickness so uh, no not the thickness the font size so i'm going to keep it 0 0.5 i don't want the font to be very very big then i need to give the color so here i'm going to give blue so 255 comma 0 comma 0 okay after that i need to give the thickness so i'll keep it as one and then finally i have to write cv2 dot line under uh, cv2 
cv2 dot line underscore aa okay so i'm going to hit shift and enter and this has run now what i'm going to do i'm going to show you the image so i'm going to say cv2 im show and i'm going to show you the image so i'll say igg so let's see what we get so as you can see we have got an output uh, refrigerator is here refrigerator is here uh, you cannot see it over here, but I know it is a refrigerator and I, you can see it in the image also that it has detected the refrigerator You can obviously see the oven here. So it has clearly detected the oven It has also detected the table as you can see over here The dining table is written and it has also detected an orange and some bananas So obviously this is occluded but you can see in the image that there are certain objects that have been detected now remember we have kept the confidence very very high 0 0.9 if I reduce it to 0 0.8 okay then you will have more objects so you will see the number has changed okay and num will change it will come to 11 because now we have given more objects so this will remain the same this will remain the same and in here i am going to let's see what we get over here so as you can see some more things have been spotted so for example potted plant okay this has been spotted a lot more oranges have been spotted and the bananas itself so you can see the object detection kind of works and it gives us good enough results okay so i hope you understood the video and uh, the code and everything will be there in the description thank you and bye